Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. This is the segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today we're going to be talking about Night of the Comet. Night of the Comet is a 1984 film, which runs approximately 95 minutes, and is written and directed by... Tom Eberhardt. Now, he was responsible for Rats, Without a Clue, and Naked Fear, which I actually have, but I've never watched. Now, this stars Catherine Mary Stewart as Regina Belmont. She was in The Last Starfighter, Weekend at Bernie's, and The Apple. <laughs> Kelly Maroney as Samantha Belmont. She was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Nightcaller, and Staycation. And Robert Beltram as Hector Gomez. He was in Nixon, Lone Wolf McQuaid, and Butterflies. Now the budget on this film was $200,000. Actually, I think it was $700,000. And it had a worldwide gross of $14.4 million. And it's also known as, and I thought this was pretty cool because I never knew this, it's also known as Teenage Mutant Horror Comet Zombies. <laughs> yeah. All right. This has a really simple plot, and I wanted to go over the plot real quick so that I could tell you guys a little story. Okay, this is about sisters who basically survive the end of the world. Now, there's a comet that is in Earth's orbit, and it turns just about all the people who are looking at the comet into dust. The other ones it has an effect on, and it turns them into these zombie-like creatures. But the two sisters are actually not immune, but they they do a certain thing the night before that keeps them from either turning into a zombie or turning into dust. And I'm not going to tell you what that is, because in case you haven't seen it, um, it's uh, pretty interesting. But anyway, they run into Hector Gomez at a radio station because they think that there are still people at the radio station because it's normal programming, which has been taped. <laughs> and from there, they go to the mall. They do it girls in the 80s basically did, which was go to the mall and have fun with their friends, but there are no friends to have fun with. They go on a shopping spree. And they run afoul of a government agency. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it. Um, I always forget how much I like this film until I watch it. I really thought that this was going to be in the bottom half of my ranking. And then I watched the movie, which I haven't seen probably in a few years, and it will not be in the bottom, that's for sure. But anyway, um, an interesting story about this movie is that when I was younger, we used to have two things that, were, that came on Saturday at noon. It was either Kung Fu Theater, which I used to watch a lot of, or Horror Sci-Fi Theater, which I also used to watch a lot of. Now, when I originally saw this film, I missed the beginning. I missed the title and the opening credits. I actually came in on the film where the one of the main characters, Mary Catherine Stewart, is playing a video game and, you know, getting one of the high scores. And having a pretty big crush on her when I was younger, um, I continued to watch the movie and absolutely loved it. But I didn't know what the movie was called. So I couldn't own it or rent it again. Actually, owning it in those days was pretty much a non-factor because videotapes used to cost 80, anywhere from like $80 to $100 just for one videotape. Imagine that. So it took years for me to find out what this movie was called because we didn't have the internet. We didn't have all these things back in the day that you can instantly look up an actor and find a movie. So it's it's just a very, it was a very different time back then. So 
<laughs> this is the Scream Factory, by the way, with the slipcover. Um, I rented this movie, Night of the Comet, from the video store. And I had, this was like a couple years later. And I was like, hey, I've seen this movie. <laughs> so I finally found out what it was called. And then when Scream Factory came out with this, this was one of their very first um, uh, Blu-rays. It was in like maybe the first 20 or 30 that they made. Um, I bought it right away, but yeah. All right, now we're going to get to my recommendation. And I thought long and hard about this one. Actually, Joe's recommendation is better than mine, I will say this time. But this movie has a similar flair to it. It is also a zombie film. It is also where you have a world catastrophe with hardly anyone left in the world. And this is called The Battery, and I love this movie. Uh, this is one of my favorite zombie movies. Definitely top five material for me. And I try to talk about it whenever I can. Now, granted, Night of the Comet doesn't feature a lot of zombies in the film. But they're there every once in a while. Um, this is more of a normal zombie film. But it's very independent and it focuses on two characters, primarily. Which is the same with Night of the Comet. So... Definitely check out Night of the Comet. Definitely check out The Battery. And don't forget to watch Joe's review and check out what he recommends because he has a really good recommendation for this one. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.